just in Torin's Corner and today we are upgrading the Death Watch Mandalorian. Now I put him on the plaque and I think he generally does need an upgrade. He's a new figure so I think a lot of people are anticipating this as well to be honest with you. Um, and I don't think he needs a lot. I think Hasbro done a fantastic job on here. Looking at some reference pictures and I always use the Hot Toys as a reference because the amount of detail that they put into those figures and I think sometimes Hasbro as much as it looks close on a kind of a, a quick whim looking at the figure you start noticing there's a few bits that are just kind of missing out of the way so um yeah so we, let's bring him up to scratch I think let's get him upgraded let's bring him the sort of the attention to detail this this figure needs because Hasbro done a fantastic job in the articulation and the sculpt of the figure it's just a shame on the few parts of the uh, the paints so the the backpack I think needs a bit of a black wash the silvering probably needs reapplying to make it look less plasticky just it's probably the worst backpack I've ever seen it just looks really plasticky with that blue so a bit of a black wash a few dings and dents guns gun metal and silver in places on here to bring those up to in line the detail as well for the figure that we're applying helmet wise i think it's fine i think uh just a few little dings and a few little dents as well with the, the silver i think that's all it needs it doesn't need anything else but then coming down to the actual main figure itself uh, a bit of a black wash on the undersuit this flak jacket needs to be a bit of a different color needs brightening up it's very similar to the the color that was on boba fett in the original kind of colors you know that kind of sort of like creamy kind of color uh, and then on this line in the middle of his uh, kind of mando armor here there's you know there's a raised dent you can see it it's actually should be the same color as this baby blue down there so we add that as well a few dings and dents black wash belt probably an extra a different color a shade of brown i just think that just blends in way too much silvering on the darts down here and then bringing that brown along on this sort of like sculpted kind of belt that goes around the top of the boots here with a bit of silver as well so just really bringing up the details on this guy i think his gauntlets probably need a bit of a look as well so looking at those hot toys sort of images and stuff like that, i'll pop them up as i go through the actual uh, tutorial as well and where you can see the details that i'm applying as well like i normally do so i guess without further ado let's upgrade this bad boy So I'm just going to start off by replacing all the silver applications that are on the jetpack with flat aluminium XF-16. Now moving on to his other accessories, we're just going to use the Tamira X10 gunmetal paint. on for his flat jacket XF57 buff
So now using XF68 NATO Brown, we're just going to cover those sort of belt loops around the top of his boots uh, and also do his belt and pouches as well and his holster. So I'll do the holster a little bit later on, but all those parts are going to be brown. Achievement unlocked. Thank you for getting this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and ding that bell so you get notifications of new videos. And we're over 450 videos at the moment, which is fantastic. And also coming up for four and a half thousand subscribers. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. And if you can, please then share the videos as much as you can. And I'd love to see images. If you do this as well, post them to me on my Instagram. And I'll see you at the end of the video. So next up, making the blue, I use cyan and white, mainly put down the white with a kind of one little drop of the cyan and give it a mix and then you get that blue. It took me a few attempts, as you can see, I've already painted the chest and the, the blue just wasn't right. So now I'm just replacing it with this new blue that I made. <laughs> Using a darker blue, you can actually see the sculpt that's in the sort of jet boosters with the little line. So we're just going to go around and paint that blue. Going back to the flat aluminium, just going to apply some extra little details to the guns there. If you actually look at the um, Hot Toys, they actually got some silver bits and stuff on there. So I thought it looked quite nice, so I thought I'd add it to this figure. So now on to doing the black wash, I'll just start off with doing a little bit around, really get into the grooves on that jetpack part, all those little lines and stuff, get it to pop up to make it look a bit more realistic as well. It's up to you how you want to do your black wash, I always say this, you can either douse it with a very liquidated uh, black paint and rub it off. What I tend to do, I've got this really stiff brush and I literally just really rub out the black on it uh, until it's very minor and then I'll just rub it into the places that I want to and that's the way I do my black wash.
So pulling out the uh, flat metal again, we have just gone through, uh, just applying a couple of scratches around. I mean, you can it's up to you. You can weather, weather this guy really a lot, uh, put loads of scratches and dents and all that over him. But I just kind of wanted to do it very minor. I didn't want to take away too much of it. Uh, and even the Hot Toys one, they haven't got a lot of scratches and dents and stuff. So I just thought I homage that and then just do a little few bits around on the figure. But also, don't forget on his top of the boot around the, the belt part, he's actually got those two little ammo clips on there. So you want to paint no silver as well. And lastly, because that jetpack just keeps falling off, I'm just going to glue it in place. It's up to you if you want to do this or not. But for me, I'm just never going to take that jetpack off. finished and done another one that's been upgraded for the shelf and i'm really quite pleased with the results to be honest with you too, not too much added just to take away from the figure it's just adding those extra details that really kind of make him pop and uh, definitely i mean hasbro have gone out for this guy so adding those extra little parts there just to add him up to speed looks really nice I uh, only had a couple of issues on this one and it was trying to sort out. I went out to the model shop and bought quite a few different blues to be honest with you. Um, but I kind of think I found it. It's kind of a similar match. Um, if you're more of a colour expert out there you probably will match it a lot quicker than I did to be honest with you. So yeah just having a look at the paints that we had used. So to match this blue uh, we just used it a few little bits on here and around on the figure. So I used the actual cyan blue. Uh, only a little drop mostly it was white so putting the white down and then a bit of the cyan and it actually brought it up to that kind of uh, that color in there which is pretty good so it wasn't actually the proper blue that I used so the other paints that we have gone through on here we've gone gunmetal which is the ones that have been used for his guns and we didn't really actually use it actually on the figure itself this time we actually used flat aluminium XF16 and that was on his gun and a few other little areas on his uh, kind of gauntlet parts here. Uh, this is the one of the biggest ones changer. This is called Buff. Hey hey, XF57, uh, and this is what I used on his sort of flat jacket undersuit part on there. And I think it really brings it out. It just brings that figure out completely because uh, it just the colouring that they use kind of just moulded onto that part there. And then we used XF1, and this was literally just for the black. Uh, wash over the actual figure and then last but no means least we did use XF68 as well uh, just the brown that's a really nice brown it's because I've, I've used some other browns in the past and it kind of blends in with the actual figure itself but this one it actually stood out on the figure and you can see those sort of differences that we have used over the figure here so just taking a closer look why is here uh, and we didn't really go to town really didn't add a lot of chippings and all that just used a few little scratches around here a little sort of like scratches that go straight across I kind of like always telling a story uh, when I'm doing the um, sort of dents and bits on that so we've got a little jagged bit up here around on the back of the helmet it's got a bit of a paint a blodge and stuff like that we've got the uh, black wash all over his body and definitely on that jetpack looks 10 times better now and adding that black wash as well over that extra silver really brings up those detail parts and makes it look more realistic in a way adding that extra little blue around here 
the extra brown parts on here. I was going to cover the belt completely, actually the figure itself, uh, the Hot Toys one was morely dark brown, so I thought I'd just do the light brown, just to sort of give it a little bit more detail in the certain panels and places around on that. Added some extra silvers here, uh, used that light blue that we used on the chest on this bit to make a sort of like a triangle wedge, as what the character has. Um, but yeah, definitely on that tan top there, it really sort of brings it in with that black wash as well and just adds that extra detail that's needed. Black wash fully over the figure, just giving all those sort of depths and details and then down on his legs as well, looking really cool. A few little dents and then we've got those little bits on the side of his belt all done on there, which is pretty cool. And then we've done those parts there just to give it off rather than just being standard blue. So yeah, looking really, really nice, really cool. Uh, really adds to that figure as well. We've done the guns as well on here and the other guns just down here. So I added a bit of silver and this on there. So yeah, really happy how this one's turned out and gluing that backpack into place as well is an absolute must because otherwise it just always keeps falling over or popping off when you're kind of maneuvering the figure around so yeah that's kind of it really so thank you so much for joining this one let me know in the comments down below if you're going to try this i mean the only other thing you could do i'm thinking about getting another one is buying another one and adding the extra third white stripe on on these parts here so we've got the sort of like I don't know, a lieutenant and a commander or something like that. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. You can subscribe, ding the bell, follow me on Instagram. It's all in the description down below. And until next time, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye!